Hi, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, first of all, thank you very much for uh, giving me a chance to present here in the University of Kyoto. Um, uh, today, I'm going to uh, present my uh, research topic uh, that is already published in uh, last year in well, with the International Journal of Health Service. The research the research title is the impact of community-based health insurance in enhancing better accessibility and lowering the chance of uh, having financial catastrophe due to health service utilization. A case study of uh, Savannake province, Laos. Um, all right, uh, there are uh, four parts in, the, uh, in this presentation. The, fir the first part is the background, and then the second part is the methodology. The third part is results, and the last part is um, the, uh, the discussion part. All right, let's go over the, the, the very first part, the, the background. Uh, this research is, um, is, uh, was conducted in Laos, a country in uh, Southeast Asia. As you can see in the map, it is surrounded by uh, many countries such as Thailand, Vietnam, um, Cambodia, Myanmar, and China. Uh, despite improvement in the last decades, uh, the life expectancy in Laos is still very low in compare recent to other neighboring country in Southeast Asia. And similar to other low income countries, uh, most of the Lao population still relying on uh, our pocket expenditure on for in exchange for healthcare services. Uh, today I'm going, uh, and then uh, this slide I'm going to go over the insurance schemes available in Laos. Currently, there are four healthcare care schemes available in Laos. Uh, the first one is called State Authority of Social Security, or SASS. The second one is uh, Social Security. Uh, uh, Social Security Office. Uh, both schemes are compulsory schemes for civil servants and salary workers um, for uh, private and state enterprise, respectively. And both schemes are operated under the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare. Uh, the third scheme, which uh, we are going to focus, is, uh, is called uh, the CBHI scheme, uh, which stands for Community Based Health Insurance, a voluntary scheme for informal and self employed. This scheme is managed by uh, the Ministry of Health in Laos. And the fourth scheme is, uh, uh, is called the Heshi App Scheme which is then for Health Equity Fund. This scheme is very similar to the CBHI scheme. Uh, it, it, is the scheme it is the scheme that the government purchased the CBHI scheme for the very low income people, mostly resided in the mountainous area or the rural area of Laos, or uh, in short for the very, very poor and you know, unaffordable people in the rural area. Uh, this research is the very, uh, one of the very first research uh, related to the CBHI in Laos. Um, uh, CBHI in Laos is firstly introduced in 2004, so uh, almost 13 years ago. But not a lot of study was conducted to, you know, to uh, assess the effectiveness or the quality of the CBHI scheme. So this study aims to uh, find out the uh, to find out if the CBHI members are having better accessibility for inpatient service utilization in comparison to uninsured households, and to analyze the role of CBHI 
scheme in terms of financial protection against catastrophic expenditure compared with the uninsured household. Uh, now we move on to the methodology part. Uh, Anderson behavioral models of health service is well known as a uh, classical reference for health service. Uh, so in this study, uh, we use the uh, Anderson behavioral model as a guideline to to uh, to uh, build the conceptual framework of this study. The uh, the Anderson behavioral models comprise of three categories of determinants as following. Uh, the first one is predisposing characteristics, uh, enabling characteristics, need-based characteristics. Uh, this is the Anderson behavioral models in detail. So uh, predisposing characteristics refer refers to the proclivity of utilizing healthcare services Anderson said that the demand of healthcare service depends on demographic position within social structure and belief of health services. Enabling factors refer to resource available in, within family and community. Family resource include economic status and location of residents, whereas community resource involved with the, the accept, accessibility of healthcare facilities or availability of people for assistance. Last but not least, uh, need-based characteristics is the perception of need for health care services, whether individual, social, or clinically uh, evaluated perception of need. Uh, this slide uh, shows you guys the uh, conceptual framework of this study. Uh, recall that the uh, there are two objectives of this study, and, and in this study, we use the logistic regression uh, to evaluate the accessibility uh, to healthcare services and also financial protection against financial catastrophe. Independent variables uh, were derived from uh, Anderson behavioral models there are three parts I already mentioned before. Uh, the first part, predisposing characteristics composed of gender, uh, age, marital status, educational level, size of household. Uh, the second part, uh, enabling characteristics. Uh, we have insurance status and income level. Uh, the third part of Anderson behavioral model is need-based characteristics, which is con chronic condition here. For the dependent variable, uh, we have uh, a probability of using IPD services between insured and uninsured households, and probab probability of suffering from financial catastrophe between insured and uninsured households. Let's, let's move on to the research design. Uh, in these studies, uh, we apply uh, a cross-section of study design. Uh, there are pros and cons of, uh, of using the study design. The, the pros is it is relatively uh, easy and not time consuming to conduct, to get the uh, result done. But, uh, but there is a disadvantage, which is, uh, it is only able to capture the current situation of the uh, CBHI of Laos in the context of Laos, but um, for the study sites, uh, first of all, in Laos there are uh, 18 provinces. Uh, this study was conducted in Swanike province, which is the biggest province in Laos. Uh, it is located in the central park of Laos, and it is about uh, 500 kilometers away from the capital. Uh, in, 
There are 15 districts in Swanike province in which five of them, uh, in which only five of them were, uh, on CBHI, uh, in which only five, uh, pro uh, only five districts were, uh, were, uh, uh, CBHI were only available in five districts of Swanike province. And the rest 10 were not available yet. Uh, uh, from, from this point, Kesan uh, Han District and Jampon Province, two provinces were randomly selected from five districts to represent the uh, study sites. Uh, after getting the study sites, we are able to calculate the, the samples, the total sample size of 252 households. They are equally divided into two groups, insured and uninsured households. The data collection process were uh, implemented in hospitals to effectively identify both insured and uninsured respondents from July to September 2013. Uh, both uh, provincial hospitals and uh, Jampon District Hospital were taken into account. Uh, I would like to tell you that uh, uh, in Laos, in each district there is only one uh, single hospital, so all of them were taken into account here. Uh, and this, uh, the simple random sampling method was used to select the respondents from uh, OPD in order to minimize possible bias related to uh, respondents and their household member health problem. The questionnaire were used as the tool to, to retrieve the information from both insure and uninsure. Um, in this case, uh, the questionnaire were separately developed for insure and uninsure household. The data analysis and interpretation there are two methods, there are, uh, both descriptive and inferential statistics were used uh, in this study. The descriptive statistics were used to present respondent social uh, demographic composition and the logistic regression was used to calculate the prob probability of hospitalization representing the accessibility to healthcare services and uh, the second model is to calculate the probability of suffering uh, from financial catastrophe. Uh, recall that there are two regression models, and then uh, this slide is going to present you guys the, the result of the first model, which is to find out the probability of hospitalization. As you can see from the slide, uh, uh, the p-value here, none of them were uh, statistically significant at 95% uh, confident interval. But two of them here at the bottom highlighted in blue are almost sig statistically significant which is uh, income level, which is income level more than one, uh, 2.5 million keep or, or around $300. Uh, this slide shows you guys that uh, household income more than uh, $300 or 2.5 million keep uh, have less probability to suffer, have more, uh, have less probability to use health service utilization. And also at the bottom, uh, household with the availability of chronic condition are more likely to use uh, hospitalization. Uh, in this uh, variable, uh, in this model, the uh, variable of interest is insurance status because we would like to find out if, if insure household are more likely to uh, get more uh, healthcare services. 
And we can find that the insurance data here are not st statistically significant. So we can conclude that uh, CBHI scheme or insurance st status do not significantly improve health service utilization. Uh, in other words, we can say that uh, between insured and uninsured household are in are indifference in terms of uh, uh, accessing to healthcare service utilization. This slide uh, shows you guys the the probability of experiencing catastrophic health expenditure. Similar to the the first model. Uh, we can find out that uh, there are two there are two variables which is uh, education level lower lower than secondary school or higher lower secondary school or higher have less chance of getting financial catastrophe. This one, and it is statistically significant at. 95% confident interval. It means that uh, households with a relatively higher uh, level of education have less probability of getting financial catastrophe compared to the low, uh, co compared to uh, households with lower education level. Um, for the income level, household uh, who have uh, relatively high income are less likely to suffer from uh, financial catastrophe, and it is statistically significant here. Similar to the previous slide, the previous model, we can find out that the chronic condition also played the important role of uh, suffering from uh, financial catastrophe but it is not statistically significant at the uh, 95 confident interval. And once again, the variable of interest is insurance status. And once again, it is not sti st statistically significant at 95 confident interval. And from this point, we can say that uh, the CBHI scheme or uh, household who have insured are not uh, ha are not having uh, you know f uh, financial uh, not having um, better financial protection compared to the uninsured household uh, at 95 competent interval. Uh, let's move to the uh, discussion part. From the logistic regression model, one, we could find out that the logistic regression model uh, uh, showed that even no variable was statistically significant, we could find that the smaller households were marginally more likely to be hospitalized. This study was uh, similar to the uh, previous study uh, conducted earlier which state that respondents in the larger household were usually unable to afford healthcare uh, services. The result also shows that uh, the respondents with chronic disease were not likely to be hospitalized since households understand their health condition and their, their, their intention to purchase insurance service is positively correlated to the risk of loss in other words, uh, insure, uh, individuals who have high probability of using hospital service are more likely to be insured. The results of the regression model shows that insure respondents were more likely to be hospitalized, but the p-value is not statistically significant at 95% confident interval. Uh, so we can conclude that this study is, uh, is not, the, the CBHI is not able to uh, constitute a significant impact of the uh, health service accessibility. 
In terms of, uh, let's go over the discussion part of the regression model too. In terms of insurance, in terms of uh, income level, it reveals that respondents in lower income quantile are more likely to be hospitalized. The reason support the, supporting this is relatively simple, as uh, catastrophic health expenditure refers to total out-of-pocket payment equal to or more than 40% of household income minus subsistence needs. So poor rest income household have higher probability of suffering from financial catastrophe. Chronic condition is another factor that lead to catastrophic expenditure. The result of those logistic regression show that uh, respondents with chronic condition were 3.5 times higher, to a higher probability to experience financial catastrophe in comparison uh, to those who do not have it, any chronic condition within their household. Similar to uh, logistic regression model one, the variable of interest is uh, insurance status. And this study shows that uh, the insured household have less uh, probability of experiencing catastrophic expenditure, but not statistically significant. All right, that's all for the presentation. Thank you very much.